So I've had my first crash in my uh, hit air road racing model. Um, I'm a Wero road racer and I actually won the race before, so I'm happy about that. And then I got in the second race and I high sided the bike and uh, I was very happy to have this thing on. It puffed up, puffed out like it's supposed to. And uh, I hurt my foot, but no injuries around my neck and head. And, and my helmet did hit and it just seemed like a Seemed like it really supported my neck and nothing bad happened. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it did, I did unfortunately land right on the back where the key box and everything is. I've got it taken apart now. It uh, tore the zipper all up and ate some holes in it here and there. I'm, I had to uh, like clean the whole thing with a uh, my sprayer in my sink, I cleaned it really carefully because it was just full of mud and dirt from Talladega, from the cornfield. <laughs> I landed in the cornfield. Anyway, I'm starting to figure it out. The key box goes in there and blows there through that hole. I learned how to reset it, but it's held in by this part on the bottom and that got completely ground off in my crash. So I'm thinking I need a replacement because Otherwise, it won't hold the key box in and it won't uh, deploy properly next time. And this, this holds the top. So I'm just figuring all this crap out. I've got, uh, there's the used CO2 cartridge. And there's the new one that I plan to put in. But uh, I have to figure a way to re-secure all this temporarily with something. And you don't want to go piercing holes in areas of this that are unknown like if you do zip tie it or something just do it on a zipper part i may do zip ties for a while so i can get by not recommending that i'm just saying don't start poking holes in it everywhere because you will pierce the airbags and the thing will probably not work um, this part goes on the back so uh, some of the snaps came off or got ground off but I think I can put the whole thing back together and put some big zip ties around it to get by at Road Atlanta. And when the Safer Moto guys get back in town, they are, I understand they're at the Isle of Man right now. I'm either racing or supporting racers at the Isle of Man. I wish I was there. That would be super fun. But uh, anyway, I'm going to have to find some place to get uh, replacement parts and tell the guys at safermoto.com return from the Isle of Man. Of course, bad timing for me, but not their fault and uh, can't be helped. They're great, great people. Anyway, uh, just trying to figure this thing out right now. And maybe I'll post up another video when I get it all back together and working. So as I'm putting this thing back together, I noticed this tear in the front which was actually under this panel. I high-sided and landed on the windshield in the front of the bike. And then, somehow, it got torn right here. And I carefully dug in there. And I see that the actual airbag is uh, has been compromised, it will not hold air. So I'm thinking if I don't get that part fixed or replace the whole thing, then the rest around the neck won't uh, deploy either. I did notice while I was crashing too, uh, and I stayed conscious during the whole crash, I noticed that it puffed up, but it didn't seem to puff up like really, really tight, like I had heard uh, other people say that it did. And I think that, uh, I think that I just got unlucky in the exact way I hit and it did its job around my neck. So I'm not, I'm not bashing the thing. I'm still a believer, but uh, I just hit exactly right to tear up that bag and, and to completely trash the key box on the back. So I'm gonna look into replacement parts, but uh, it's looking more and more like I'm gonna have to spend the 500 bucks to uh, get me a whole nother one, I guess. But uh, 
I think that's a small price to pay if it avoids me being um, in a wheelchair the rest of my life or worse. So uh, just letting you folks know uh, my experience with the thing. I still like it. I just uh, think maybe there's some improvements needing to be made in the future. Or you could just like crash better than me. I seem to crash and tear stuff up like worse than most people. Maybe that's it. Probably me. Anyway, that's not going to work. So here's the front part of the vest again where it got somehow pierced, even under two layers. It got pierced and put a hole, two little holes in the airbag underneath. There's, there's a tiny one there and one next to it. Anyway. Here's my plan, since I can't get another one anytime soon, and I have Road Atlanta coming up, I gotta do like the uh, the uh, redneck version of uh, fixing it. Now, of course, I'm gonna use duct tape, green duct tape for Kawasaki. So I'm just gonna patch those two tiny little holes, and uh, this is not recommended, it's probably stupid, but my idea is to have something on my back that might work instead of having nothing on it. Um, I'm gonna take this key box out. It unscrews here and here and here and here and I trash that too. So I'm gonna have to put like a piece of like plumbing strap or something over this and to hold the bottom in so when you when the cord pulls it will not pull the whole thing out. Anyway. Also not recommended, but I have to do something quickly because uh, I'm not going to be able to get parts in time for this thing. So I'm going to pull the key box out. Whoa, there we go. It like blows out that hole right there and into the whole system through that. So I plan to duct tape those tiny little holes, which they only have to hold for a second. So I'm thinking maybe it will inflate and save my butt until I can get a whole new vest. And if it doesn't, well... You know, I wouldn't have the thing on anyway, so I'm willing to take that chance. So I'm going to blow through this hole after I duct tape it and see what happens. So having opened into the forbidden zone and duct taped with green Kawasaki tape, my airbag, uh, maybe the thing will puff up again until I can afford a new one. Gotta take that chance. And I will see you in a minute. So when you reload the airbag, you don't you don't roll it up. You just you squeeze it. You squeeze it in so it like has very little resistance when it's trying to puff back out. You don't want to roll it, roll it, roll it like that. That's wrong. Alright, you just squeeze it in and put the velcro and stamps over it. Okay, so I've duct taped this thing on the front. I hope you can see this. On the front where the original hole was and on the inside where you saw a minute ago the green duct tape. That's not sticking too well. I might have to redo that. Anyway, I'm going to blow this thing up with my mouth slowly and just see if it inflates. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, <laughs> that was tough, but it seems to be working now and uh, should work in a crash temporarily until I can get a new one with a new bladder in it. I am going to have to do something about uh, this duct tape, tape sticking right there. That's where it got punctured. Okay. Okay, so replacing this torn up plastic piece with... This piece of metal that fits perfectly and should work fine. I trust it more than that, that's for sure. Okay, there you go. Hey, I'm Michael. I'm a Weira expert racer, and I had a pretty bad crash in this vest, my uh, hit air vest. And uh, 
I feel like it really did me a lot of good. However, it, it uh, had a, a little puncture in the front. And uh, this whole video is about how I'm attempting to repair it and things like that. And hopefully they'll do some improvements. This video is not about trashing the awesome people that uh, sold me this stuff and sell the parts and all that. And I will uh, say right here, safermoto.com. Those guys are like awesome. They are off racing the Isle of Man right now. Good luck to them. And I actually bought my vest from Moto Air Armor on Amazon and they have been very responsive, very supportive, uh, helping me get the thing fixed. But, oh, I also want to give a shout out to, it's backwards, uh, my guy Brandon Parrish that keeps me safe with my insurance. I hope you can see that. Ridersurance.com. They take care of racers. He knows his stuff. So check him out. If you need insurance, you'd be amazed how cheap it can be uh, to be covered for any sort of crash or catastrophe. Give Brandon a call. All right. On with the video about the vest. It looks like my temporary repairs are going to work and uh, haven't had time to mess with the zipper much, but uh, no matter what I do with this little part, I'm still going to take one or two of these big uh, air conditioning duct zip ties and just put around the, the back part to hold it together a little bit better. I have the box, the key box, secured really well and all, so it should work, but I just want to hold that together. And then, of course, I don't have it with me, but there's another panel that goes over it that should hold all this in and then I'll put a couple of uh, these big zip ties and they won't interfere with anything else and I shouldn't even feel them on my back at all so hopefully all that works I want to go ahead and get this posted up if I have any updates on the whole deal I will post them later meanwhile I've got to upload all of this stuff I love this vest even though I tore it up uh, but man, I crashed pretty hard, and uh, I don't blame the vest for that one. That was my bad, and uh, it did save my neck. Thanks for watching.